Auditor General Bonnie Lissick's annual report found the Ontario Small Business Support Grant lacked controls to weed out ineligible applicants. As a consequence of quick program delivery, eligibility controls were either missed entirely, poorly designed, or not applied. As a result, she found $210 million went to more than 14,000 ineligible recipients. But the Premier seemed to suggest that this was the cost of doing business. When you're handing out $3.3 billion, you're, you're, you're going to see uh, things like this happen. Uh, does it go back into the economy? Sure, it goes back into the economy. Did we have to move quick? We had to move with lightning speed. The Premier saying some were dishonest on applications. There have been allegations that applications were put in that were fraudulent. But the Auditor General says the province isn't trying to recover the lost money. It's shocking that the government's response to the fraud is simply to, to write it off. It's a very, very serious uh, issue relating to competence that's lacking in Doug Ford and in his government. If there are clear cases of fraud, that's something that should be looked at. I think, uh, I think law enforcement, I think the police should be brought into those discussions. The opposition say it took the Ford government 300 days to act on a grant program for small businesses. Ten months later, they basically shove a half-baked slapdash program together uh, in a matter of two days. That's a problem. In contrast to the Premier, Finance Minister Peter bethan says there were few cases of fraud. The intent uh, of those businesses that were uh, applying was done in good faith. That they were not clearly knowing that they were ineligible trying to apply for the money. The audit also discovered that some recipients received more money than they lost in revenue to a total difference of $714 million. The intent is good. The intent is good to give people money. It, it's the program design that set a, a, a minimum uh, amount to distribute of $10,000. Some reported that they lost as little as two cents, yet received the minimum $10,000 payout. What's infuriating for me is that there are many small businesses who are hurting who never were able to access their grants. The report does note that the hard hit businesses that lost revenue but didn't have to close during the pandemic weren't qualified to receive funds. There were 18 value for money audits part of this year's report and one found the province didn't have enough personal protective equipment at the start of the pandemic, but could have been prepared if it followed recommendations that came in 2006 after the SARS outbreak. 